Hello and welcome back to Next Level Adventures. Me and Dreamy today are taking you on a tour of the northern province of Utradit. If you're thinking, I haven't heard of this province, uh, either have I, and it's not very well known. In fact, I did a YouTube search earlier yesterday and I think this is the first time a foreign traveller has ever made a video on this province. There's literally four videos on this province and they've all been made by Thai people. But don't let that put you off the video because this province is worth knowing about. So have a look at this. So as usual, sit down and relax and enjoy this slice of unknown Northern Thailand. It's another place that'll be on your list of things to say, like, oh, we should go to that province that Paddy went to. What was it called? Utradit. Right, we're going. <laughs> enjoy the video. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm on my way to Uta the Uta Tad. <laughs> this is a tongue twister. Utradit. Utradit province. And there's this um, body of water we have to deal with. But uh, according to Google Maps, there's a little ferry we can jump on. And the other side of the lake is Utradit. This side is Nan. And we've just had two hours of incredible scenery. I didn't feel much because I kind of. Uh, well, I was just enjoying the roads, but this seems to be an obstacle we need to get across. So wish me luck. <laughs> this looks like it, doesn't it? Just turn my music down. I'm listening to the knack full blast. What time does the ferry leave? What time is it? You need this delivery? Chai. Oh, okay, perfect. Cup and cup. How, how much? Ah, they're having lunch and then we go. Okay. Are you are you going? Yeah. To Utradit. Uh. How do you say the province Utradit? Is that how you say it? Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's difficult to say for me. You want to go do? You have to pay for for this lady. Okay. How much? I don't know. I don't know. How much? One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty. Wow, that's expensive. <laughs> you can get a ferry to Koh Tao for yourself? that. Well, I suppose we just have a little sprite and wait to go across to the other province. I don't even know what to describe this. Is it a boat? Is this a ferry? Is this a wooden plank with a weird engine on it? <laughs> uh, but either way, we're getting across, saying goodbye to Nan and saying hello to Utradit province. Three cars and dreamy. And the driver has a cool little seat. He just sits on a wooden stump and he's, they've converted an old car wheel and some piping and that's the steering it's quite lovely good way to travel once we get to the mainland of the next province we're going to head towards the city center and we'll stop off at a few interesting places along the way so far so good Okay. 
Okay then, that was fun, and it was time to get back on the road. We had about 150 kilometers to downtown Utadaradit, <laughs> and along the way we just enjoyed the beautiful countryside, lush rice fields, towering sugar canes and corn fields, and of course the roadside buffaloes. ran out of fuel but thankfully in some random village along the way there was a trusty gas pump <laughs> that is the closest I've ever ever gotten to running out of fuel no music at this on <laughs> if you watched uh, recently where was I in Chiang Rai province and I was fueling up and it was playing music and we had a right little dance didn't we <laughs> And I wanted to take you to a place called Sikatit Dam. It was a really nice engineering project. But for some reason, when I arrived, the security guards were telling me that it was closed because of COVID. <laughs> so unfortunately, we weren't able to visit the dam, but the surrounding areas were lovely. Okay. Sawadee Cup. Sawadee Cup. Yeah, that's uh, Thai. Hello. Yeah. Looks like there's a massive lake. Wow, it looks huge. I'll give it a go, huh? 120. Okie dokie. Okay, Dreamy. Looks like we're going to a lake. <laughs> Oh, I can see the water down there. But I have to keep my eye on the road because look at the state of this. Steady on, dreamy. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's go to the left side. It's a good job it's not wet. Uh-oh. Yeah. Ooh, it's slippy now. Oh no. Ugh, that's yucky. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Well, I think it's going to be worth it because just over this hill. Did we go left or right? Um, bugger. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go up. Kind of like a mini Khao Sok National Park. You've got the floating hotels, the floating shops and things. I think I've gone the wrong way, to be honest. Um, no, there's something here. I'm not really here for any thing. It'd be nice to get a bit of lunch. That's about it, but I doubt it. Just take a picture here, fly the drone, have a little look. Nice butterfly over here. Hello, little butterfly. I don't know why I talk in an Irish accent, but there you go. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold. So selfless to all And wild like an animal uh -huh. Some would say I'm insane in the right in a way But I just love to play in your fun and your games Always hungry for more, that's just how I was born Take me somewhere I don't 
Okay, this national park is beautiful. I've reached the campsite area and it's beautiful. However, I think, you know, it's bring your own tent. It's bring your own gear. And there's one Thai couple and they've brought everything with them. She's even doing work on her laptop and he's just playing with the dog in the tent. And they've got a barbecue and looks like they're fully ready for a nice evening together. I'll just wait for this noisy boat to pass and then I'll pan around and tell you some more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just checking if it was salt water, which it's not. So yeah, if you were in this province and you were randomly driving along the road and you saw the sign for the National Park, I'll link it in the description, and you fancy a little bit of incredible camping, then yeah, check this place out. Bring your own gear, and you're not allowed to fish here. Big signs everywhere, no fishing, no fishing. Although obviously, where we were earlier, um, that looks like it's a fish farm. Those blue inflatable barrels, they're the sections that they create, those netting, and then they farm fish or shrimp. I'm not exactly sure, couldn't really figure it out from the drone. And then it, there's an island, well there's plenty of islands, but over there there's one with a temple on top. But uh, maybe if you paid one of these guys, they'd take you over there. And you could do a little trek up there, or maybe it's just for show. And the visibility and the air quality is just, I mean this is as good as it gets. You can see 360, the views in every direction, but especially in that direction with the clouds moving across the mountains. And here comes another noisy boat. <laughs> but yes, I don't have any food. I don't have any, well, I have a banana in my box. That'll do me for now. I'll eat that. I'll stay here for half an hour just to enjoy this afternoon sun and reflect on today's drive through Utadarit. Utadarit. Oh God, Utadarit. Bank's open, but it's quarter past five. Turn left. Are you open? What time do you close? Oh, they're open. Okay, I'll just be five minutes. I need to do some business. Okay, sorted. I just uh, needed to reinstall my banking app because I had a new phone. I lost my phone in Chiang Mai. <laughs> just driving down the road and it fell out my pocket. Anyway, let's find this hotel. It's full of rice. Noisy little bugger. Do you have rooms? Do you have rooms? I have no no booking, no booking. Yeah. My cup. Hello. Oh, somebody can. Okay. Thank you. Oh, 101. Ah, yeah, same size. Yeah, this is fine for me. There's a little view out the car park, isn't that lovely? And a fridge, and a telly, and I will take it. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this is my life pretty much, normally. Um, sometimes I share when I stay in nicer places and do incredible experiences and things that cost a lot more money. Uh, but my day to day is 500 baht per night. Um, and on Google it said 380, but whatever, it's 500. Um, we're here and it was a long day 
and uh, yeah, like I said, not every province is going to be jaw dropping at every turn, but this one has been okay. It's been okay, but the town is very quiet and sleepy, and I think we've seen the highlights already of this particular province. So we'll just wake up tomorrow and uh, we'll go to the next one. Thanks for watching. Another slice of Thailand for you, and plenty more to come. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.